On Monday, July 11th, 210 and 1 Ashland Legion took on 2 and 9 Woburn. Woburn starting pitcher Brian Gavostos sailed through the first three innings but struggled in the fourth. And that one is going to be ball four. So that is 12 out of 13 pitches that have been balls from Gavostos. And he has walked the bases loaded. This is hit in the air. That is going to drop into left field. One run being waved around, and now another right on his tail as Obed and Porter will both score. It's 2-1, to one, post 77. A two RBI single for Jacobs. Play left and the pitch. Turns away the hitter, and that's ball four, and another post 77 run will score. I am holding my bat unless this is a very good pitch. There's ball four, another post-77 run will score. Zach Jacobs comes around. There it is, ball four. Seventh walk of the inning for Gavostos. Matt Coughlin came in for relief. Coughlin deals. And this is hit into right center. That'll drop into the shallow outfield. One run in, another run being waved around. The throw in is off the mark. Two more in for post 77. Kaim and Krupe both score. Seven walks for Gavostos in what turned into a eight run fourth inning for Ashland. No runs would score after the inning as Ashland took the game eight to one. Andrew Kaim had a nice start pitching five innings, giving up one run. Mike Messier had a couple great defensive plays and went one for two at the plate with a walk and scored a run. The next day, Tuesday, July 12th, Ashland took on Natick and fifth place Natick was fighting for their playoff lives in this one and led comfortably throughout the game. Natick leading 8-4 heading into the sixth and what would be the final inning due to darkness. Ashland down to their final three outs. What would they do? Has really had a battle throughout these innings. Has been caught up in a jam almost every inning. On the ground, up the middle, past the reach of the shortstop. Lead runner, Samir Sharma being waved around. He will come to score, and it'll put runners on the corners. Four post 77, an RBI single for Babineau, and it's an eight to five ball game. With two on, one out, and one run in for Ashland, Mark Soma came in to try to close it out for Nedick fact that there are no lights here and it's getting dark out as this is up the middle that's off the shortstop and a run is in Obid comes around an RBI single for Jacobs line up and the pitch and he will rope this in a left field that drops down runner being waved around Babino is going to come around to score it's eight to seven an RBI single for Messier up in the pitch. Swinging strike. Tominski goes down. That's the second out of the inning. It's all in the hands of Trevor DePeron now. Line up in the pitch. And this is hit in the air. And it is going to drop past the shortstop's glove. Runner being waved around. The throw home is going to be off the mark. And Jacobs will score the game tying run. Line up in the pitch. Looks like they're going to give Kaim the intentional pass here. Uh, Devin Del Campo come up to the plate. And he's going to hit this one up the middle. It'll get through. And the winning run will come around. Messier scores. And it's a 9-8 victory for post 77. They will call it due to the light. And Andrew Kaim got the Game-winning hit off an attempted intentional walk. Ashland pulls off the comeback and takes down Natick 9-8. Reliever Samir Sharma pitched a solid two innings and gets the victory. Center fielder Andrew Keim got the game-winning hit 
and was the player of the game as he went three for four at the plate, had two stolen bases, scored a run, and had an RBI as Ashland improved to 4 10 and 1 overall and played spoiler towards Natick's playoff chances.